Hello, friend. Hello, hello. I'm checking the date. Yes, today is the fourth. Happy uh, day four of the 12 Days of Amy December Challenge. Day four. Don't do it at the same time because it's not day eight. Um, I'm excited to be able to dash. I'm trying to figure out how to dash, incorporate dash into what we're talking about today. Today, we're going to talk about setting goals. I have a statistic here. Guys, I'm not one. I have a love-hate relationship with numbers and st statistics. In this example, um, the statistics for goal setting are incredible. There's a Harvard business study found that there's a direct correlation between goal setting and success. It said that 14% of the people who have goals are 10 times more successful than those who don't have goals. So can you guess what I'm going to talk about today? Duh, goals. Uh, it's the 4th of December, and if you're watching this later, that's okay too. Um, you still have the opportunity to set goals. If you've already done this, congratulations. I will give you your homework after I show how to set goals within the Sell with Amy app. Um, so right here, this is that beautiful welcome uh, screen. First, give yourself a pat on the back, friends, because you're here. I am proud of you for doing something for your business. My sequins are attached. I'm just going to let them be. Um, in this example, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the to-do that says set your goals. Now, this happens early in the month. It generates on the first. So if you set your goals in advance, that's awesome. I want to make sure that you still get them logged after you've set them once the month actually starts. So in this example, it's saying it's time to set your sales goal for December. Probably should have done this sooner, but that's okay. We're here and we're doing the thing, right? doesn't matter what day you clicked on this video. Um, I want to make sure that you're still able to tackle your goals and appropriately set yourself up for success. Um, so I met my sales goal of zero dollars last month. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> um, in this example, I'm going to go ahead and increase that goal substantially, friends. I'm going to set a goal. Now, of course, everyone's business is different. Everyone's goals are going to be different. If your goal is $200, that is awesome. That is your goal for you. One of the reasons this is here is because sometimes people start sharing, right? And we're going to share, friends. That's right. We're going to share. Uh, some people start, once people start sharing, they start to get intimidated by people who have goals larger or smaller than them particularly larger. I want you to know that you are in control of your business. You are in control of this goal that you are setting. Don't set it because your friend set the same goal. I want you to set a goal that's appropriate and a little bit of a stretch for your personal situation. We have friends that have $10,000 goals here, but they sell a higher priced item, number one, um, or number two, maybe it's their primary job. Right. So set a goal that feels appropriate for your current situation. Now, don't set a low goal just so you can be sure to hit it. OK, um, I know that sounds counterintuitive and like, duh, easy. But sometimes people will go, you know, and sometimes it's OK to take a month to go slow. Um, there's situations in life that come up and you need to slow your biz. That's the beautiful thing about this industry. You have the potential to set this. You have the potential to set it high. You have the potential to set it low. But again, make sure it's for you knowing your circumstances, not because you're trying to stay up with whatever leaders or sidelines or uplines or downlines or whatever. Okay, so this is for you. So go ahead and set that goal and then go ahead and there we go. I'm going to go ahead and then we're giving you tips. Okay, so this is sort of what I just talked through. But once you do that, the cool thing is when you go to right down here under your dashboard, okay, when you go here, it's going to show you where you're at in relation to your goal. This is your dash, your personal dashboard. We're going to talk about this next. So when I say we're going to share, I would love to see your goals. I would love for you to, depending on how you set it up on your phone, I can take a screenshot um, right here, take a screenshot of your personal dash, okay, and then go ahead and drop it in the comments. Let's see your goals. Let's see what you have planned. Now, how do you achieve those goals? There's 28 days left in December, friends. Depend. There may or may not be a number of dates before your shipment deadline, but you set your goal first, and then you work towards 
your goals using these particular statistics, okay? So for example, you can, when you log orders, that updates your sales goals. So for some of our friends with partnerships, that automatically happens for them. Um, if you don't, you wanna make sure that you're logging your orders. That generates your 222 follow-ups. Um, if you have a company that allows for samples or samples make sense, right? Um, then you have the ability to log samples. It encourages you, once you log those samples, it'll remind you to follow up with your customers or your contacts on those samples to see how they are enjoying them. And if they aren't enjoying them, it encourages them to go ahead and break out the fun, right? Um, and then sharing, sharing directly from products in our products tab, that little magnifying glass gets logged here. Again, your sales goal, and, and then you have the ability to see how many days are left to be able to achieve that sales goal. It also takes your sales that have been logged and puts it on that handy dandy little graph so that way you know how far you are from achieving your goal. So again, if you wanna be 10 times more likely to achieve that goal, I strongly encourage you to go ahead and take care of that to do. Um, these tiles here additionally help give you some insights into how do I go ahead and make the, the goal happen? So of course sales are relevant to your goal, right? But if you're adding new contacts, Okay, if you're sharing out that contact form, you probably have some new contacts, right? You can see how many, isn't that incredible? Um, you have the ability to tackle your to-dos. If you're tackling your to-dos, you're more likely to hit your sales goal. We have friends in here, um, Sheila shared the other day that when she, she did every to-do consistently for an entire year, she said nothing less than $2,000 in sales a month. Sorry, Sheila, if I'm putting you on the spot. Um, additionally, message sent. How many messages are you sending out? We are going to go ahead and revisit this later in the month. But if you screenshot your dash, all right, drop your dash, dash thing through the snow, um, drop your dash in the comments below now so that way we can see your sales goal, we can cheer you on, and then we can circle back at the end of the month and see what of these tiles you've done to increase, uh, to improve, okay? So that's my challenge for you. Challenge one, set your goal, yay! Challenge two, which is still part of the same goal, uh, drop your dash, whether you want to share, you know, wherever you want to share in terms of what you wanna share on your dash. Um, you can even crop some out if you wanna crop something out um, as well. But I encourage you to make sure that you're sharing your sales goals so that way we can cheer you on and we can encourage you to work on some of these numbers, right? Um, if you share out your contact form, it actually includes uh, the update in the lower right and the link views um, tile, okay? Social shop visits, um, again, new contacts, messages sent. If you're working those areas, you're going to be more likely to help work towards your sales goal. So go get it, make it happen, friends. Bring on the Friday sparkle, you've got this. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day five.